Today's video starts with the new by Terry Brightening CC Foundation. And then we're going to hop over to two new lip products from Benefit, Splash Tint Dewy and Plush Tint Matte. And then the brand new Viseart Paris Reveries et on Hello, print cesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me. Rebecca. Once again, we have a ton of new products all shoved in to one video. So I am super happy to have you here. You saw what we're doing in the preview, but we will dive into more in-depth details in just a moment. If you are super busy, however, and only interested in one or two of these, please make use of the very detailed timestamps that are down below, both in the description bar and at the bottom of the screen, so you could get to the information that you need faster. Although I'd love to have you here, of course, for the whole thing. There are so many ways to get involved with this community. We have an ever-growing community here at Not Fit for Print Beauty, and there's all sorts of levels and ways that you can get involved. Watch for my content over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. Plus, you can give super thanks, which is always appreciated. That's down in the description bar. You can purchase products directly from this video. It doesn't cost you an extra penny, but it helps support what we're doing here in this community, and I always appreciate it. And there are two different ways to get even more involved. There is one way you can chat with our community for free about all of the makeup and I pop in and out of there. It's a really fun Facebook group we've got going for free and I will have that link below. And if you want to chat more with me, we have a members only group here on uh, YouTube for $4.99 a month. Oh, such a good price. We have lives and we're going to have giveaways and all sorts of good stuff. We would love to see you over there. Okay, let's talk a little more in depth. We are in the middle right here of a wear test. So I want to talk all about that. We are looking at a few different items today. The first is a new foundation from By Terry. My, one of my, one of my absolute favorite kind of independent makeup artist brands. Terry is an amazing makeup artist and you have probably heard of the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. There's been a few of them and they're just, oh, they're so lovely and so so beautiful as a primer but for now she has for us the brightening CC foundation this comes in 24 shades is $79 because it's a luxury product I picked up the shade 3n medium light neutral I think I did pretty good on that but you'll be able to tell better in our demo this is a hydrating serum foundation it's very lightweight um, kind of feels like a skin tint by Terry says and they're right it blurs it hydrates for 24 hours so even after you remove it, it's got a lot of skincare properties, and I would agree with that. It is sheer, it is glowy, and you can even use the Brightening CC Serum underneath it to prime. We don't do that in today's video because I am just trying it on its own. I don't like to, you know, muddy the waters with primers and powders. You know, not all of us have all of those things. But this is, as you see, delightfully dewy. We're in the middle of a wear test right now. So you'll be hearing more about that throughout this video. It's a really pretty one, a great brand to support too. And by Terry makeup artists are lovely. They're just always like really friendly, lovely people doing a lot of innovative stuff over there. If you haven't experimented with by Terry before, I suggest you do. Hey, speaking of beautifully independent makeup brands, we also have a new palette today by none other than Viseart. As you saw, this is the Paris Reveries Etendue. Um, gosh, I think the Etendue palettes now there's eight of them, or are there more? I think there's about eight. But um, this is a beautiful one that is supposed to unlock the treasures of secret Parisian gardens. Look at these shades. And I say this in the demo too. There's something about Viseart where they just do these kind of pastels, but they're like statement making pastels. They're always grounded. Like they, I don't feel like. Sometimes when I wear pastel eyeshadow, I feel like my eyes, eyelids come into the room before I did. I am wearing two different looks. Don't adjust your screen there. But, um, you know, it really, I really feel like I, they don't, they feel almost like neutrals. They don't wear you. Sometimes those bold eyeshadow shades can be a bit much. If you didn't know, all of these pans, because it's made first for professional makeup artists and secondly for home use, but they're all mix and match with the, uh, Petit Fours and the Grand Pro One Extension, and of course the other Etendue palettes. You can pop them out 
and put them and arrange them however you want. And if I do say so myself, which I'll actually say in the demo, this is one of my favorites in a while. And it was kind of a quiet little release. This is, if I didn't say, a $44 palette. And as usual, the packaging is scrumptious. So we have Viseart, because it is Viseart Paris. And we have the A is the Eiffel Tower. And I don't know if you can see it here, but there are little embossed, kind of raised Eiffel Towers all over the packaging. It's so cute. And it's just really elegant. I think elegant's a great word to describe this palette. The other thing I threw in here is two new products from Benefit, and they're really good, and I didn't want you to sleep on them. So hear me out. These are each $24. They've released Benefit. You know, we love their brow products. We love their mascaras, but Benefit does do more. They just don't do more often. So, you know, I was curious, and I'm really glad I tried these. These are the Splash Tint Dewy Lip Product and the Plush Tint matte lip product. By the way, all of this is going to be uh, swatched for you in two different lights in a moment. I, I didn't forget. Uh, these are just, you know, they apply Benefit if you don't, please remember the Benetint product. So they're, they're really good and well versed at tints, but these are really nice. They've got that same wand that you might remember, um, although the Benetint also had the brush, but they did a Benetint with this as well, kind of plush little doe foot. But these are kind of a lip stain that really last and last. I'm in the middle of wear testing those as well. And they really do last and last and they're incredibly comfy on the lip. These are good little benefit products. They really are. Um, and I, like I said, I don't want you to sleep on them. So I wanted to try them on in this video. Uh, they are like Sephora, Benefit, probably I think Ulta too. I'll, I'll put them down in the description bar in a few places. All right, we're gonna go to some swatches now, but please take a moment to make sure that you have subscribed to this channel as it does help me grow the channel. Probably the most important thing that you could do for me is to click that subscribe button. All right, let's look at some swatches now, shall we? Here we have in studio lighting first, and I'm gonna do the uh, Viseart product as it is laid out in the pans so that you can see it in the palette the way it would look to you when you open it. So we have here in studio lighting, the Viseart Paris Reveries et on Du palette, followed by the Benefit Splash Tint Dewy, and the Benefit Plush Tint Matte. If I didn't tell you, the Benefit products do come in six shades, um, but I got shade Summer Fling in the Splash Tint, and Pillow Play in the Plush Tint Matte. So that's what you saw there. And you'll see them a little better when we go outside into the warm California sunshine. Let's take a minute with that Viseart Paris Reveries et on Dew palette. And then right next to it, that splash tint is in Summer Fling and the plush tint is in Pillow Play. Pillow Play because they didn't want to call it Pillow Talk maybe? I don't know. But we've got a lot to try on and experiment in this video. So let's go ahead and start right now with our By Terry Brightening CC Foundation Demo. Okay, let's start our wear test here. We have our By Terry CC Hydrating Serum Foundation, which I'm really excited to use. There is a little bit of a scent. Uh, it is not as strong as the traditional By Terry Rose Sack, but it is there. And it does seem to dissipate. I haven't tried it on my face yet. Um, but I did put it on my hand. Okay, as usual, right now I have, I'll put a little bit of concealer just in the inner corners of the eye, but I try not to do anything that could affect the performance, let's see about a, my shade choice here, of the foundation, no, which means no primer, no setting spray, no powder, certainly. Why? Because we all use different types of powder. If there's a release at the same time, I'll try them out together. You know, um, but there hasn't been. It has a very cooling, interesting cooling sensation that's very comforting, comfortable and nice. Shade maybe a tad light. Won't be a problem when we do the whole face. Coverage very light to light medium, but it is buildable. Very lightweight, a little bit too light of a shade, but nothing, uh, nothing criminal in that department. That's just one side of the face. Let's build it a little bit, shall we? Because that is a very light coverage. Not that I mind that at all, uh, but some of you might. I'm using a Merit brush here. Uh, <laughs> I just came out with my hourglass video. 
a day or two ago, and I pretty much used up every brush, not foundation brush, but every brush is still drying. It takes them a while to dry if you really, really wash them well, and I did some foundation brushes in that brush laundry, and let me tell you, we still got a lot of brushes drying, and these Merit brushes are lovely uh, for foundation application. Got a little bit of a brush hair on my face there. What a pretty foundation. This side of my face is all done. Again, no primer. Right now, no concealer or powder or setting spray. And on this side of the face, I have morning skincare that sunk in it. It has a very cooling, refreshing feeling. There is that initial burst of that rose scent that we are so familiar with, with By Terry, um, but it dissipates. It's already dissipated quite quickly, but I did want to tell you about it. All right, let me speed it up and we'll do the other side and then we'll let the square test begin. Okay, I still have only one layer on this side. We built it a little bit more on this side, but it's still doing a very nice job. Very like, kind of like spa-like feeling. It's a cool but not cold and it feels really soothing on the skin, which is interesting. I can't say I've really experienced that before. It's very nice. Now on this side of the face, all you have to have done and it's been with this channel in the last few weeks and you'll know that I've been saying super goop. Why am I saying that when we're talking about a by Terry complexion product? Because uh, the super goop product that I tried made me break out horribly in this area. The breakout is gone but it has left a dark discolored mess on my face. Super goop. So let's build in that area mainly and see what we can do here with this, what I'm seeing as light to light medium coverage. It actually is taking away um, a lot of that look. And yes, I do like to use the warmth of my hand to work in product, but I do. Uh, for those of you who like to be uh, comment warriors, I do wash my hands. Why would you think I don't? Okay, nicely covered. Uh, still probably needs a bit of concealer. I don't blame the By Terry product for that. A super goop did a number on me. So let's take a look here. I do see a little bit of a different look, so let it sit. This side has set a little longer. It's not any sort of oxidation. It just, you know, kind of has to meld with the skin. And it is early in the day here, and I've got all sorts of different stuff to do. So we're going to let it ride, and then I'll come back in a few hours, and we'll try on the rest of our products. And then um, that will serve as our check-in. So stay right there. Don't you move anywhere, because for you, it's going to be like lickety Okay, so I have been wearing this as a base. I actually did not put on any concealer whatsoever. So I've just been wearing this By Terry Brightening CC Foundation for about two and a half hours now. We're in the middle of the wear test. Do you know what else I've been wearing for two and a half hours actually that I just wanted to mention? The first of the new Benefit lip products that we're going to be testing. This is the, the Plush Tint Matte. There's six shades as you know. And this one, interestingly enough, funny how the world puts things together, also has a little bit of a rose scent to it as well. Um, I'll put a little more on now. Yeah, just a little bit, but look at how that stayed on. It's really pretty as a lip stain. And it feels kind of moussey. Um, and it's not very runny at all. And it has stayed on just beautifully. Really, really pretty. Uh, and I've been, I haven't eaten anything, but I've been, you know, me and my Coke Zeros. Uh, so I've been having <laughs> a lot of stuff. I actually have some tea also. Yeah, and that's really been doing quite well. So I just want to show you that. We'll try on the, the uh, dewy splash tint in a little bit on um, the second part of our wear test. But let's take a look at what we have going here. This is a fairly luminous foundation. And because it is slightly highlighty, we are gonna see a little bit more emphasis of pores and such. Um, if I were to powder my T-zone, that would look a little better, but nothing is horrendous. I'm not feeling like the shame, look away, or anything like that. But I do see a little bit of pores here. It's a glowy, dewy foundation. 
I understand that. And a little bit of powder would take right care of that. It's not sinking into lines. It's setting on my face extremely comfortably. Do I warn you if you have oily skin? No, not at all. I am not finding this to be greasy. It's soft. It could definitely be powdered, but I'm not much of a powder person. When not doing a first impression of a foundation, I will powder under the eyes or around the nose, sometimes the T-zone, and it looks like this could use that a little bit, but I'm not feeling um, like I look in the mirror and go, Ugh, you know, uh, without powdering. So that's very, very pretty. And these lip stains, I'm kind of curious about trying the dewy one, but so far so good. Okay, let's go ahead and try two different eye looks with this beautiful new uh, Viseart Paris Reveries Etendu palette. Um, gosh, that's pretty. As only Viseart can do it. Super, super pretty. So let me get a, a refer number one, and we'll do two different looks here just for fun. And we're going to start with this shade right here and just put that all over the lid. This is kind of a in the pan, it's a real kind of apricot shade, but on the eye, it goes a real pretty pink. Let's go down, same brush, and I'm just gonna take that and put it over it. Over it. This is a kind of a violet shade. That would be really pretty with the violet new Dior shade that's out in the blush, wouldn't it? Which was in another video. And I'm gonna take that same number one brush, look at that, and just go under the eye just a little bit just to kind of give it a little glowy halo and tie it together. And then let's take that same brush again. No need for more brush laundry. I've been doing enough of that into that pretty cocoa shade and just put that right there into the corner. Just squiggle my brush around. Just get a little bit like that. In my own inimitable way, I'm doing my quick eye looks and I think that's really pretty. And let's take just a little brush right here. I'm just kind of going down the line here and go into the center of the, uh, the inner corner, I should say, of the eye and a little bit onto the lid, just a little bit. Wow. Wow, this is a really, really pretty, pretty Viseart palette. And I'm gonna go into this sort of raspberry shade here and just kind of gently, just kind of tap that on with my finger uh, onto the mobile lid. And look at that for kind of a violet type. You know they do these purple shades so well over at Viseart. Isn't that pretty? Don't worry, we do have a wear test coming up uh, for many, many more hours on this foundation. But I just wanted to play with this eye look, even though I'm gonna have two different looks. Here is a refer number 15. And let's do, from this side of the palette here, into this definite kind of orangey tangerine pastel shade. Wow, that's pretty. I'm putting that into the center, the corner, middle corner of the eye as well. And then we'll go with that same refer 15 into this pretty, pretty, pretty kind of taupey brown shade. Wow, you know, Viseart really outdoes themselves on these kind of Parisian chic washes of kind of, you know, statement pastels. They're not wimpy pastels, you know, really pretty pastel shades. And I think that's super pretty, look at that. Let me put a little bit more of this initial apricot shade to just kind of top that taupe shade, top the taupe. Okay, and back with a small layer brush into this shade right here. Yeah, we're not using every shade, but it's representative. And, and you know, if you, like me, are a fan of Viseart shades, uh, you know how they perform just very beautifully. And how about this shade right here? Just right there in the center, just in the center. Wow. So that is one palette and these two incredibly differing looks. What do you think? Wow. So I'm a little mismatched. I, I'm a little mismatched. But I want to let this just run quite a few more hours. I'm not really going anywhere. Even if I did, people don't notice. You'd be surprised, you know? When you think you look a fright, trust me, I go out with two different eye shadow shades and nobody even, nobody even bats an eyelash. Honestly, they think nothing of it. No one's looking at you that much, I guess, huh? 
Well, that's a disappointment with this pretty makeup on. Okay, I'm going to take quite a few hours so that we can finish out our wear test and let's see how it holds up. Stay right okay, we're at a total of eight hours now. I'm looking a little tired and getting ready to get on with the end of the day now. So we have about eight hours total. A little later, I'll give you an update on, uh, I have to wear it for a few more hours, so I'll give you that update. But I'm going to be done filming now at eight hours in. When I tell you that that Benefit plush tint mat would have kept going comfortably, I mean it. Um, but I even took a washcloth and took it off so that we could try on the splash tint because I'm interested in that too. And I think it would actually be pretty over the plush tint, but let's just try it on its own. And this one should have a little bit more glow. So this is not, I thought this would be much more of a gloss. No. So it's got a little bit more of a kind of a dewy look to it. And it feels very much on the lips like a gloss. Um, but it's not appearing so much like one. You know, I gotta tell you, these are beautiful little products. I think I might prefer the plush tint. Not like me to prefer a matte, but I just didn't feel it. Sometimes those really creamy textures of lip products when they're like a lip cream, I don't enjoy the look of it. Like a lip mousse, Ugh, I, I kind of don't like that texture on my lips. Am I alone here? Is anyone else like that? Um, but that one, the plush tint that I had on uh, in the earlier part of this video, I couldn't feel it at all. This one too. But I can tell, yeah, I guess it's looking a little shiny, isn't it? But I can tell it won't last quite as long, but I'll, I'll fill you in on that. Let's do a little, the, the Viseart is holding up just great as Viseart always does. We've got eight and a half hours wear. Um, so I'll be able to update you on how this dewy more splash tint goes as well. Okay, so let's look at it now at about eight and a half more or less hours in. It's looking great. Little bit here, no difference between two hours in was our last check-in, two hours in. And now, doing great. Still would need a little bit of concealer here um, with this kind of a breakout that I'm recovering from. I don't blame the By Terry product for that, not in the least. Um, it was covered a little better hours ago. I do not see the By Terry product breaking up or anything. You know, it's just that the, the blemish that's healing is going to fight to win, and it, I suppose it will be victorious without some concealer to keep it in check. So again, I don't blame the By Terry product for that, but it was covered a little better earlier in the day. I don't see it breaking up or anything. I don't see it settling into lines or really accentuating texture any more than you would expect with the Dewy Foundation. It is extremely comfortable. It has not gotten greasy. It is not breaking up. I do not smell any of the scent. This is a beautiful, comfortable, spa-like feeling foundation. The only drawback is there is that slight rose scent, but it is so much more tamed than their CC Serum was. And I think this would be beautiful with the CC Serum under it. I'll experiment with that, but not everyone owns that. Um, but By Terry is a great, great uh, independent makeup artist brand to support. Terry is an amazing makeup artist. And this is a great brand to support. And this is a super comfortable, beautiful product from by Terry. It really, really is. Now here on the screen, I'll wear this for a few more hours. I don't know how many. So I'll let you know how it held up when I finally take it off. And since we're at it, let me also put in there after that few hours of wear, how our splash tint dewy benefit product is holding up after a few more hours. I'll tell you that that plush tint, the more matte version, that wasn't going anywhere. That was beautiful. I couldn't even feel it on my lips. This one I feel because it feels like a gloss, you know? But at any, at any rate, beautiful products from Benefit. Don't overlook them. Don't sleep on these Benefit lip products, especially that plush tint. Don't sleep on it. As for the By Terry, you know how I feel about that in my final thoughts. That is a beautiful, gentle, lovely wearing, slightly dewy foundation. Awfully pretty good, amazing job on that. And for Viseart, say what you will, I think this is one of their prettiest big etom dew palettes um, lately. So much choice in terms of shades, but so, so gentle and pretty and floral almost for spring and summer without screaming color. And as usual, Viseart does those risky apricot and lavender shades so tastefully. 
and so beautifully. So uh, really a fan. We don't have a bad product in the bunch here. I would love to hear what you think. And have you, did you know that Viseart and Benefit and by Terry had come out with these? They're kind of quiet little releases actually, all three or four if you count both benefit. So tell me what you guys think. I mean, that's what makes us a community. I would love to hear and answer any questions. Do you need this Viseart swatched or compared to any other Viseart palette or another spring light palette? Well, that's what I do over on my Instagram. You're welcome to request that here, or you can leave it in comments on Instagram or DM me on Instagram, and I'll get those comparisons up for you. That's what I do over there. All right, so let me know about that and any other questions that you have or swatch comparisons you need. This is what makes us a community. Don't forget to share and like, and of course, subscribe. And I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.